Our goal is to synthesize high-quality motions based only on a simple sketch and a few easily specified constraints. For example, the user might specify a sketch like this. Within a few minutes, our algorithm finds a motion that follows the sketch and satisfies the constraints. The key insight behind our approach is that we represent the motion as an interpolation of two time-scaled paths through the motion graph. This representation creates a compact search space that favors natural poses, velocities, and transitions, while also allowing the adaptation of existing motions through interpolation. These experiments show why interpolation combined with motion graphs is an effective technique. In this experiment, the character needs to start from one location and pick up a small object at another. This solution is computed with interpolation. Without interpolation, the optimizer often cannot find any solution or finds an inefficient one. This solution is unnatural because she reaches too far. This solution is inefficient because it starts from a bent pose. An example of a more constrained problem. The character cannot get any closer to the object. Without interpolation, it is hard to satisfy all the constraints. Interpolation allows us to synthesize walks with different step lengths. In this experiment, the character needs to follow the green curve. Without interpolation, the motion follows the blue curve. With interpolation, the motion follows the green curve more precisely. In this example, the character attempts to step on the columns. Interpolation produces solutions with more optimal strategies. Interpolated motion graphs can be used to create long motions with a variety of behaviors. They do not require motions to be pre-processed into segments with similar structure. Interpolated motion graphs can automatically select which motion segments to interpolate and when to transition from one behavior to another. The following six examples show that optimal solutions are more natural than suboptimal ones. In this experiment, the character needs to walk from one circle to another. The optimal solution is more natural. In this example, the first solution reaches too far. The second solution reaches from the side. The optimal solution has a natural posture. The suboptimal solution has an unnatural pattern of steps and turns. The optimal solution produces a more natural turn. The suboptimal solution takes a wide turn. The optimal solution is more efficient. An example of a vertical jump with a 180 degree turn. The optimal solution is a lower, more efficient jump. Although the suboptimal solution reaches the goal and avoids obstacles, the pattern of motion is not natural. The right behaviors are automatically selected in the optimal motion. Here we show several examples with different placement of the columns. The character walks along a curve specified by the user. An example of picking up an object ducking under bars of increasing height. 